Hi guys, this is Larissa with Be You Beautiful One. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm excited to share with you my setup and my horizontal planner for the week of February the 8th through the 14th, which is Valentine's Day. And I'm gonna be using this sticker sheet from Oso Paper Company. It's the Mini Friends Squad Galentine's sticker sheet. And so this is like when friends come together and they celebrate each other on Valentine's Day or around Valentine's Day, what have you. So this is really cute. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my new Stardust from Simply Gilded. It's a lavender, pinkish lavender base with um, some silver and I don't know if that's a red, reddish pink foil or purple foil, but it's pretty. Um, it's Stardust Confetti, so love it. And I might be bringing some other stuff out too, but I'm not for sure. But for now, this is what I'm basically using. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started now. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by first putting in the main deco at the bottom where it usually says, you know, this week. Um, I really don't need that section. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover up that section with some deco. And I'm starting off with utilizing the larger of the two washi tapes from that Stardust collection from um, Simply Gilded's Valentine's release. And it has like, a, I guess it would be more mauve. I don't know, it's like a pinkish kind of lavender effect. And it's real pretty. And so I just decided to uh, put the edging of the Stardust towards the outside perimeter of the box on the top and the bottom so that the flat part could be more inside where I'm putting all the stickers at. And I'm gonna use some of these colorful shapes uh, that I'm really am excited to use because it has a, like a lot of hearts in there um, to sort of fill in the space. And I'm also gonna use, in addition to the colorful shapes, this sticker sheet that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's one of those stickables collection from Paper Studio. And I like this particular heart shape collection because it has the pinks and the lavender in it so I felt like it would be a good fit for this also paper valentine sticker sheet as well and then once I got that part um sort of done I was like okay now what do I want to do <laughs> as far as um filling in the rest of the space because I didn't know if I wanted to write something, but this is like a smaller sticker sheet. It's not like a whole kit. It's just that one sheet. And so I said, well, since there's not a lot and I still have to decorate the rest of the spread, I'm just going to fill it in with a whole bunch of hearts and some of the colorful shapes sticker from out of that book. And I like the way that worked because I was able to fill in um, a lot of the white space with the stickers. I used some colorful stickers and then the colorful shapes had like the white background, but the colorful outline and it just helped to sort of fill in. And I could still write in this area if I want to, like maybe I could write in um, a message um, to myself um or maybe what i did or some of the things that happen during valentine's week and so i really like how that turned out and so i decided to go ahead and alternate the washi tape with the other more pinkish reddish pinkish stardust from the valentine's collection as well and i just didn't feel like trying to really force myself to do something fancy with the washi tape so i was just like put it across the rows and alternate and let's call it a day because it speaks on its own anyways but one of the things that could be really fun 
with this particular washi tape is, and I might do this in another spread or journal entry, is to maybe tear the washi tape and create like a heart within the washi tape. So I might do that for another spread. It depends on how I feel. But I just really wanted to go ahead and primarily focus on the stickers. So I really like the the colorfulness of these washi tapes together. It was a little bit more bolder than what I had initially planned, but I'm just gonna go for it. So, <laughs> and then starting at Monday, again, I'm just really taking advantage of using some of these colorful shaped stickers uh, because I really don't get to use them a lot. But um, because of the hearts and the circles, I thought it would be a great opportunity to utilize that. And I layered it with the three mini friends standing together and they just sort of have like their heart balloons in their hand. And it's more like posing. I felt like maybe if I start with this sticker, I can build it up to more of the like, I love you Valentine stickers that are on the sticker sheet. So, and then I love uh, this particular sticker with the mini friends like creating hearts with their fingers and I just thought that was so cute so originally I had put this down for Tuesday and I had put down like a half circle layer with a, a purple heart from this colorful shape books but then as I was figuring out a pattern I realized that I needed to probably switch these stickers around because um, you only have so much doll stickers and I didn't want all the doll stickers to be right up on top of each other and then I didn't have anything else to deco with and so once I sort of realized that <laughs> um, I actually pull up the stickers that I put down like this one that I just put down with the two hearts overlapping each other and the XOXO balloons with the little hearts and the balloons going around the hearts I was like oh I, it was right at this moment and I'm like yeah I need to switch this around which was really cool I was just able to pick up the whole set and just move it around so I didn't really have to start all over with the layering effect I could just put them down so I love that that was like awesome but with also paper stickers I love that her stickers have a really good stick with it but I she used some kind of adhesive to me that overall for the most part allows you to pull up that sticker and put it back down a couple of times before you before it really sets so I love that about her stickers and then for Thursday I just simply layered some of the heart shaped stickers from the colorful shapes with a couple of the deco stickers from that Hobby Lobby sheet. And oops, guess what? <laughs> I ran out of storage and my camera cut off and I didn't realize it. But here I'm showing you that I utilized the colorful shape sticker book as well as the two. Um, washi tape sets from Simply Gilded and I like the way that it turned out The to me the colorful shapes really helped me to fill in the gap and extend the stickers a lot so here's the left hand side of the page and here is the right hand side of the page and I really love how this turned out um, it's very fun and festive and I look forward to putting um, my plans in this particular planner set up for the week. But basically this is my catch all planner. And so what I do is I write in like the big things that I need to focus on and pay attention throughout the week. And then from this particular planner, I will pull and put like detail oriented stuff in the individual planner. So I'm hoping to show you guys my setup sometime this month. I just got in 
um, my one planner that I've been waiting on since November due to just, you know, the, the things that are going on with delivery services. So, but I'm excited to show you guys my setup. I just need time to put it together. So I look forward to sharing that with you. Let me know what is your favorite part of Valentine week. What are some of your plans? How are you planning to celebrate Valentine's if you do celebrate it? Um, in light of the social distancing, maybe there's some tips and tricks I could get for you. And I want to wish you happy Valentine's Day, happy Galentine's Day. And whether you're single, married with someone else, um, or somewhat with someone else, <laughs> I hope that you enjoy this week and whatever joy it brings. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell. And until the next time, thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.